Hey guys, it's been about a month since I uploaded and now I want to change that. School is starting in like 4 days and we're gonna be allowed to bring our own laptops there, finally. Anyways, I have been using MacOS Ventura for like over a year now and I'm getting bored of it, so I'm gonna be installing the MacOS Sonoma public beta on my MacBook. Here's the MacBook I'll be installing Sonoma on. I don't have a backup machine, I don't have anything else to work on. So yeah, hopefully nothing goes wrong. Hopefully this doesn't get bricked. Anyways. Okay, uh, first step, unlock the Mac. Oh, where's my cursor? Okay, system settings. Wait a second, gotta go to the software update part without showing my name. Uh-huh. Update. Oh, I turn off the Wi-Fi. Okay, that's not very smart. Uh huh. Okay. Let's retry that. The developer beta probably has more features, but the public beta is more stable. So yeah. I think I'm just gonna go with public. Searching for updates. Ooh, macOS Sonoma 14 beta 5. Please back up your Mac before you install the beta. How do you even back up a Mac? Yeah, updates. Accept. Oh, put in your password. Okay, enter the password. And now we gotta download. Ooh, it's kinda fast. Well, for the first like 2%. Today is also the day of the Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct, so hopefully I don't miss that. It's in 45 minutes, so yeah. And the downloads were pretty quick. It says 5 minutes remaining. Hopefully the update won't take that long and I can watch it. 7 gigabytes for a whole version upgrade, never seen that before. I think if I recall correctly, like iOS 17 was maybe 10 gigabytes, I think something like that. Yay, 30 minutes to install. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. It has literally been 2 minutes and it just went down to 5 minutes, so yeah. It didn't take 30 minutes. Alright, I'm leaving to the grocery store, so I'll update you guys when I come back. Okay, I'm back. Here's the lock screen. Hurry up, I got the Nintendo Direct to watch. Set up. Mm, masculine. Mm, don't need accessibility. Mm. Okay, let's try Sonoma. I'll be back, I'm gonna watch the direct now. Alright, let's take a look at the wallpapers. Okay, so we got these dynamic ones. Just random landmarks, I guess. Durban stuff, like London, New York, the Paris. No Paris. Underwater. Okay, I guess it's cool. Ooh, and Earth, and yeah. That's it, and then this is just like Michael's Ventura. Okay, now, normally, if I press edit, I can add the widgets. Oh, no, not here, please. Okay, oh, just a second. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah, okay. Now I have the weather. Batteries. Mm, guess I'll add a calendar. And do I have- oh, here is my Duolingo widget, clock widget, don't need that, notes widget, don't need that either, journey, photos, podcast, mm, this might, yeah, reminders might be a good thing. Put the school, uh, yep, school stuff. Okay, Safari, no, shuffle play, no thank you. Don't need screen time. Okay, yeah, I think we're done. And for some reason, the widgets for my iPhones isn't showing up, so yeah, cool. Oh, this is just so laggy right now. Ooh, and the little like blended thingy. Wow. 
click on the wallpaper to show. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, I guess that's kind of cool, but don't need it. Okay, so that's my Mac OS Sonoma review for now. See you guys later. Why does AirDrop still show the Mac OS Monterey icon? And yes, this is shot on MacBook because I can, and I am too lazy to get my other camera out.